Bonjour all you kiddos and kidettes. My name is Jonathan Thunder, a visual artist from the Red Lake Ojibwe Nation. Thanks for coming back for drawing tutorial number five. Today we're gonna to be drawing a beaver character or a mick. To do this, you're gonna to wanna to grab a pencil, a Sharpie, and an eraser. So we're gonna do this drawing together. Once you have those items on hand, get comfortable and let's make some art. All right, let's get started. We're gonna um, we're gonna use this pencil here to block out our character. This is gonna come later. This sharpie we'll use once we get things kind of penciled in, like we did on our last tutorial. Uh, and this eraser we're gonna have on standby in case we have a flat out emergency. So we're gonna start our beaver character like we uh, start just about anything. We're gonna start with the head. So uh, beavers have, uh, they have a lot of uh, fur all over them. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of roughly block in things. And uh, we're gonna start the, uh, the head right about here. So I think this will be the front of the face here. I'm gonna bring this down to a little point. And that's gonna be uh, sort of the top of the beaver's head. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back to right about there. I'm gonna clean that edge up because what I wanna do is create this lip that the beaver has. It's kind of uh, got this little split in the middle of it. So that's kind of the beginning of the beaver's head. I think what we're gonna do is uh, kind of draw the nose in here. Just kind of rough that in. And uh, of course, uh, with a beaver, you gotta have some good beaver teeth on there. Now these teeth are pretty special. They can chew through a lot of things with these, these teeth. And I think in uh, most cases, these are kind of orange colored because uh, they have a lot of iron in them. So um, now that we kind of have that top part of the head shaped in, I'm gonna draw the bottom of the mouth here. this back and put a little ear right here and then I'm gonna bring the neck kind of down around the back like this so we're gonna connect this part of the mouth right here uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a little tongue inside the mouth gonna look something like that. And beavers have these little round eyes. You know what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna, we're gonna have some fun. And we're gonna put both of those eyes on this side of the head because uh, when you're drawing a character, you you have the license to uh, do whatever you think would make it look good for you. Um, and these little eyes are usually, you know, pretty dark, but we'll wait till we get to our, our uh, Sharpie. To fill those in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make that little ear right there. Um, I think what we're gonna do is, uh, we're just gonna kind of pose this guy like we did last time make a shoulder and maybe his little arm isn't that long there's the elbow and we'll make that uh, right about his wrist right here I'm gonna do the same thing over here a shoulder elbow wrist and if you remember from our last drawing tutorial it was uh, 
I referred to this as kind of drawing a stick man. So what we're doing is using these as reference points to pose our character before we draw kind of the meat on the skeleton, so to speak. So I think we'll do that. I'm actually gonna start his shoulder right about here. It's gonna draw in his upper arm. And then uh, I think his, uh, his chin, probably gonna kind of blend into the top of his body here. So I'm gonna put his, the front of his body, right about there. And then I'm gonna grab this part of him and start to draw in where his back arm is gonna be. I think we're gonna have that come right to about here and meet up with this line we're using to create his body. So, uh, let's see here. We're gonna put, uh, we gotta make this guy look kind of wise. So I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a little Jedi cloak on this fella. I'm just gonna put that right there. Been watching a lot of the uh, Mandalorian lately and uh, seems like these Jedis are always pretty, pretty wise characters in that story, in the whole Star Wars universe. So we're gonna uh, make our beaver a wise Jedi, a wise Jedi beaver. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take these little reference lines out. So you can go ahead and erase those whenever you're ready. And um, let's see here. So a Jedi needs a lightsaber. So I think what that means is we're gonna we're gonna put his hand right about here. I'm just gonna pencil in a little shape for his lightsaber. And uh, they're kind of shaped like, uh, almost like a flashlight. So there's the top. And then um, it's gonna probably come maybe right to about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take some of this line out. And I think what we'll do is just see if we can get a straight line coming off of here. And that's gonna be his lightsaber right there. And uh, just draw some kind of glowing effects around it like that. Maybe have like some kind of little wiggles inside there. You know, later we'll we'll kind of solidify that with with our sharpie. All right. For the most part, there's the shape of our our lightsaber. Put a little button right there. Maybe that's how he turns on his little beaver lightsaber. All right, so uh, I'm gonna draw the back of this hand here. Actually, I'm gonna start right here with the top finger, just so I can kind of give myself an idea of where that's gonna go. And just kind of go back a little bit like that. All right, so that's looking pretty good to me. Um, I think I'm gonna make his uh, arm here just a little more loose, as you can see. That's why I uh, like using a, a pencil and an eraser when I'm in the stage, because then you can kind of uh, push these details back and forth, take some out, you know, change them as you go. And uh, this looks more like the uh, the sleeve of, a, of you know a cloak or something like that to me. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll pull this down like this, 
you know, we're going to kind of bring this in. Like maybe like his hand is on his uh, hip. You know, that's something that's uh, typical of, uh, you know, maybe a Jedi who's delivering some wisdom. He's got his hand on his hip. And who knows, maybe he's telling a younger Jedi, maybe Baby Yoda or something, how to use a, a lightsaber. And who knows, that's, uh, that could be what he's talking about here. You never know with these guys. Never know. So we're gonna draw a sleeve in like that. And then uh, join up this part of the cloak or the, uh, you know, this, these uh, Jedi clothes here. He's not gonna be very tall. So I think I'm gonna have this be the bottom right here. And as you can see, I'm just kind of making these rough lines bringing things together like this. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, on our next stage here, in the next step, we'll go back over this stuff with the Sharpie and make it look pretty clean. Uh, let's see here. So, wouldn't be a beaver without a beaver tail. So I think what we're gonna do is just kind of have that sticking out right about here. And that beaver tail is going to be pretty, pretty wide. So we'll have it look something like this. And we'll bring it back up underneath that cloak right there. And uh, one thing that might be fun to do is to have his feet poking out from underneath the cloak here. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just change this line here. We're gonna make it pop up like this so that his feet are coming out right about there. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Got a little spot for his feet to poke out. We're just gonna put those right there. So we're just gonna give this guy three little toes because uh, for the sake of this drawing, I think three toes will suffice. And uh, there you go. That's our uh, that's our initial concept here. So what we're gonna do now is grab the Sharpie and we're gonna go back and throw in uh, just a little bit more detail. So starting with the top of this head here, um, beavers tend to have sort of this thick matted fur from always being in the water. So we're gonna do a little bit more of this kind of line work like you saw in the last tutorial where we're just sort of going back and forth, back and forth like that. And I'm gonna do that up on top of his head too. And we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna make all of his hair kind of go in this direction because uh, you know, when they're, kind of slide through the water to build their dam or build their little beaver huts or whatever they do. You gotta add some slick hair so they can look good while they're doing it. I'm gonna put this little ear on this little guy right about here. And now we're gonna go ahead and fill in these little, little beady eyes. So uh, I'm just gonna darken those in. I'm just gonna leave just a couple little dots there so it looks like he is reflecting a little light in his eyeball. I'm gonna put this nose in here. I'm gonna put this mouth together. I'm gonna darken up these teeth. And here's the fun part about drawing with a Sharpie is uh, say this space right here where we normally use a bunch of small lines to kind of fill it in. This Sharpie is gonna give us the ability to just really fill that space in super fast. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of clean up this edge here of the tongue. And uh, maybe 
do a little bit of that cross hatching like we talked about just to kind of give it some shade. I think you need some wise eyebrows. You know, he's gotta have like a sort of look on his face like he knows what he's talking about. And usually that's one furrowed eyebrow. This is how it was in the Kung Fu movies. It'd be one furrowed eyebrow. And then that one eyebrow that looks like he's totally amused by whatever it is that you think you know. And uh, you know, that's how a wise old Jedi beaver would probably be sort of giving his uh, lightsaber tutorial to a, oh, made a little mark there, but that's all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this line down. But we're gonna stay away from uh, that area for the most part, because we're gonna work on that effect, that glowing lightsaber there. So we're just kind of going along these lines here and making sure that all of our pencil work is nice and dark. We're gonna just go ahead and commit to all of these shapes. And that's kind of what we're doing now, is committing to these shapes that we've made with the pencil. The pencil is kind of the non-committal part of the drawing process where you can make decisions and uh, change your mind. You don't have to worry too much about that. But once you go to the Sharpie, then uh, and that's kind of how things are gonna look. Don't be too worried about it because like this mark I made here, you can always you can always mess around with it and change things and who knows, maybe it'll add to some shading or something that uh, that we'll need. So this line here, I'm actually gonna make this line like really kind of jagged because those lightsabers are, uh, I don't know, they're kind of like plasma swords or something like that. They're like electrical looking things or, uh, you know, maybe they're like made out of fire or something. And then we're gonna have like a little squiggly line kind of going around this guy and that's the glow. And then, uh, you know, maybe we'll even do like another, another thing there. Um, so what we're gonna have to do, I think, I'm just gonna draw a couple more lines here to sell the fact that this is glowing, is we're gonna have to make the things behind it a little darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just see how that looks. I'm gonna start to shade this guy. I'm just making lines right up until this sort of glowing area here so that, uh, you know, when we see it in contrast, it's gonna look like that th this thing is lit up and everything else is kind of much darker. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little detail there. I'm gonna make a little detail there. All right. I'm just kind of having a, uh, you know, a little fun, I guess, making these uh, lines here. Nothing too serious. Basically just to say that, you know, this cloth that he's wearing is, is a darker color than uh, than this here. And uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just make a bunch of little dots in here. And this, uh, this kind of process is called stippling. It's where instead of making lines, the shade, we're really dark. Uh, areas like this one, you're just kind of adding little dots and that's uh, what that's gonna do is just sort of make a texture in there rather than have it be totally uh, empty. And that's gonna help sell the effect that there are different shades of color and maybe different shades of light happening inside this thing. I'm actually gonna reinforce this 
line here just a little bit, which is really easy to do with this Sharpie. You know, the pen is much, uh, it's much harder to get this sort of line work. You really kind of have to beat on that uh, section of the, of the drawing. So we're gonna do the color in this side over here. I'm gonna do the same with these sleeves here. Just gonna make sure that these are kind of colored in. Don't be afraid to cross over any of these lines here. You know, we're just uh, we're just drawing. There ain't no rules here. Uh, whatever you make is great. Don't worry if your lines don't look like the lines that I'm making because your drawing is your drawing. Your hand is your hand. Everybody draws different. You know, it's like uh, as an artist, if uh, somebody were to ask you like, hey, could you draw this like so-and-so? You know, it's that's gonna be tough. You can't really draw like somebody else. You can't really just kind of emulate someone else's style unless you're really going for it because your style is your style. And uh, I'm just gonna darken up some of these lines here. This is called line sensitivity. When you reinforce a line to look darker than the line next to it, what it does is it sort of creates a different uh, shading value for that line. So it's gonna, you know, this is gonna look like it's kind of coming in to meet this these two pieces are sort of meeting in here and maybe there's like a really dark shadow there. So uh, that line sensitivity, if you make it a thick line, it's gonna sell that effect that it's kind of behind something or it's going behind something. All right, it's probably enough for the cloak. I mean, for right now at least. So I'm gonna put his little feet in here. There's his little toes. Just gonna add a little bit of shading on those guys while we're here. Just to differentiate between the side and the top. All right, I'm gonna work on a little bit of that uh, line sensitivity right here too. Just to kind of make it look like those toes are coming out from underneath that cloak there. Now, last but not least, uh, we'll go ahead and do this tail. And I'm actually gonna make a wiggly line here, kind of. I'm gonna make a, a bit of a wiggly line all the way around this guideline that we created using our pencil. Just to sell the effect that this tail's a little bumpy. And uh, you know, it's a stylized tail. So I think what we'll do is create an edge here. And to do that, I'm just gonna make another line there. And rather than draw all of the little lines and shapes and textures that go on a beaver's tail, which is very textured. Um, you know, and texture is like, uh, let's say uh, this eraser is smooth. That's a kind of a smooth texture. And this tail is very rough. So his tail is very rough. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is just kind of, maybe we'll just draw some little uh, kind of like half circle shapes coming down like this. See how quickly you can make these marks with this Sharpie? These things are incredible. And then just to uh, show the side of this, I'm just gonna do a little cross hatching shading. Something like that. All right. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy just a little bit of more, a little bit uh, of these tufts of hair, just to kind of show that. 
You know, his hair is coming down the front of him. We'll put some in there. Uh, maybe we'll give him some little whiskers there. So he's probably gonna have some there. He's gonna have a few here. I'm gonna darken this guy's nose, but I'm just gonna do part of it. Um, he has that sort of a, he probably have like a wet nose. So what we'll wanna do is just leave a little bit of light there. You know, and if you mess up and accidentally fill it all in, don't worry about it. Cause you can make like another little ring around that nose. And that's gonna help kind of sell the idea that his nose has a little shape to it. Uh, let's see, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give him some eyelids. And uh, we'll put a little shading right here. We're gonna give him a little shadow. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it right there. So there you go, there's a, a beaver done in pencil and uh, Sharpie. In the Seven Ojibwe teachings, the beaver represents wisdom, which is the, uh, the knowledge that comes with experience and uh, a life of learning. So hopefully you will have a life of learning from drawing and uh, have a great experience doing it, much like I always do. So there you go. Miigwech to everybody who followed along today with our pencil and sharpie tutorial. I hope you had as much fun as I did drawing this wise little Jedi beaver. Feel free to post any pictures that came from this lesson today. My name is Jonathan Thunder. Join me next time as we draw a wolf together. So I hope you come back for that. And in the meantime, be safe, be well. Gigawabamin, Minawah.